All right, so today on How Not to Suck at Teaching, let's try not to die today. All right, so today, today uh, today's topic should be fire safety. Um, all right, so fire safety. What is fire safety? How do we prepare for fire safety inside the classroom? All right, one of those things that you see a lot in the classroom is a fire extinguisher. Uh, rule of thumb on the fire extinguisher, and I, I had to have a sit down conversation with our fire guy at least at least once. I know. So my fire extinguisher is by my door, uh, and the and it's kind of a, it was a very necessary thing to have in my room because if there was going to be a fire, there's three rooms in the building that are going to catch on fire: the art room, the home ec or family consumer science lab, depending on where you're from, uh, and then the cafeteria. Those are the three places that are actually going to get caught that are actually going to catch on fire. There's nowhere else that's going to catch on fire. Yes the science labs have gas but most of the time 90% of the time the gas main has been turned off and those things don't even work so in those situations yeah you, you it's not as strict I and I say that because the uh my room has a kiln in it the kiln we fire all the time the home ec lab they have ovens and we had to check them periodically and then the the cafeteria that's kind of self-explanatory they got a whole bunch of stuff Anyways, my um, my fire extinguisher at one point had a little latch that would mount it to the wall that they cha they took out the old fire extinguisher and they didn't replace that one by the door. They replaced the one by the kiln room that had like a lock-in, like mini safe in the wall, which I loved. I thought that was great. Uh, but this little latch that was on the, on the wall just kept getting bashed by middle school students day in, day out. It was just never gonna survive. And when they finally did bring me another fire extinguisher to take care of that, and uh, I sat down with the with the um, the fire safety guy, and I was like, "All right, I can't put this on the wall because there's no mounting hardware left that's going to hold up. Uh, what do you want me to do with it?" And he told me that that the filing cabinet by my desk, which was across from the kiln room, he said, "Just sit it on top of the fire desk. As long as it's not on the floor, you're fine." And for me, that was like a, a nice thing to know because you you want to make sure that you're in compliance and regulation with all that kind of fire stuff because you never want to be um it to be your fault or you be out of compliance which would be your fault and just be a heads up on that and making sure that your fire extinguishers are up to date so that they're properly done in case of a fire um and that with that said let's talk about the kiln now the kiln my kiln i have set off the fire alarm no less than about seven times and the reason that said that it, my fire alarm goes off because of my kiln is because when they were building my building the fire detecting device that basically it's a heat sensor that that tells the the fire alarms to go off because it's the temperature is exceeded too high they put that literally above my kiln and that's why why heat rises your kiln's gonna fire on average let's just say the low temperatures of uh 1900 degrees it's gonna set off that alarm and i got to the point where i was tell i told my principal and i told him every time I was, i'm gonna fire i'm gonna send him an email my sro and all the other administrators an email that just says i'm firing so that when the alarm goes off and it's coded for my room they can call the fire department and say it's the kiln there's nothing wrong he he told us ahead of time and everything was fine after that but it took about three or four times that happening before we were all oh let's just do this and make it simple on ourselves so fire safety free room know what happens where like where all your sensors are how to procure and safely take care of all the equipment that's in your room uh, which is should be a no-brainer, but sometimes you just don't know. Ask somebody. If you don't know about this material, you don't know what this thing does, ask somebody. Uh, your, custo your plant custodian, uh, your plant engineer, your head custodian, either one of those guys know what that what that is, and you can ask them, and they'd be happy to help you out. Because here's the thing. If you're making their life easier, they're happy to help you make their life easier, as, as it is with most, with most guys. So, helpful tip for the day. Other than that, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, okay. Uh, a subscribe is always appreciated, and thank you very much. And as always, I will see you guys next class. Later.